I can also hear and see Byron's lights. He's going through the drainage line. Let's see if he's going to spot the same thing as what we've just been looking at. I heard him talking about owls, so it seems as though he's also got birds on the brain this afternoon. But here we have a family of vervet monkeys up in the knobthorn trees. There's a couple of them. You can just sort of see those silhouettes of them. Now, I don't think that's a particularly nice place to sleep, especially if it's going to get cold because the knobthorns don't have their leaves on, on the ends at the moment. So I think it would be quite chilly out there. I'd rather take a, a tree, like a jackalberry at the moment, or a bourbine that's got a lovely foliage cover at the moment. That will keep you nice and warm. It must be tough. Perhaps they're already waiting for the sun to rise. Ha ha ha. Isn't that a beautiful colour? That's amazing. The sky. Oh wow. Now I wonder where Byron is going to go. If he's going to go towards Treehouse Dam. No, it looks like he's going straight on Weaver's Nest. Ah! Oh. Paula, you said that these are your first monkeys on Safari Live. Well, very lucky, because they're also silhouetted monkeys. That's not something that we get to see all the time, with Hardy Dars singing in the background. Your lucky day, Paula. Careful, monkeys, you're going to fall out the tree. And it also sounds like some drongos making some interesting noises. Look like there's too many, maybe four of them? Now, Riti, you're wondering what do monkeys eat? Well, the monkeys out here eat a bit of everything, I suppose, like the monkeys all over the world. They'll eat fruit at the moment. They might even be eating the flowers from the knob thorns. They love to eat flowers when they're available. They will eat leaves. They will eat grass shoots. They will eat seeds. They will eat a little bit of everything. Every now and then, they will even eat insects. If they can get them, well, we see them when they groom each other. They take the ticks and lice and just pop them straight in the mouth. No, no such thing as wasting. That's something that animals out here don't do. Well, they try not to do. Otherwise, somebody will come and steal your scraps. I just thought that was a very nice, peaceful way to end the afternoon. But I don't want to dawdle for too much longer. I want to go and find the Scops Owls, as promised, before Byron gets there. I feel like the race is on now. So, oh, if I don't drive into the trees, I think we're going to quickly go past Treehouse Dam though. Byron has headed up Weaver's Nest. I don't want to get stuck behind his dust. So we'll go and have a look around there. Maybe there's a leopard that will prevent us from getting the owl. That's the only thing that I'm going to let get in my way this evening. Anyways, let's very quickly go back across to the Myra. They seem to have some hippos having a good old time.